Hey guys, Virgil here, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys three possible solutions um, if your laptop display doesn't come on or if it's blank or it's just pure black. There's three steps that you can do before you take it into an actual shop to get it repaired if you want to do that. The first step would be to drain all the excess charge in your um, in your laptop, which is really easy to do. You like un unplug it, pull out the battery, and hold down the power button for 60 seconds. Put the battery back in, put the power back in. Hopefully, it fires up. Uh, you'd be surprised how many times, uh, how many how many laptops I fix just with that simple solution. Uh, number two would be you could have a bad RAM stick, uh, which is really easy to replace. And number three is if those if the first two steps don't work, uh, what you can do is hook up your laptop to an external monitor. Um, even though you can't see the laptop screen because it's black, obviously, you don't have to go into the display settings and stuff like that. What you can do is push the toggle key, like the FN plus the um, F5 key, and, you, and what that does is it'll uh, sync the uh, external monitor to the laptop, and then you can use your laptop that way, or you can uh, at least um, you know transfer all your important files somewhere else. So. I'm going to go ahead and start off with step one is uh, basically drain everything from your laptop. This is pretty easy to do. So let me show you here. So this is a Toshiba here. So what you want to do is first thing is to drain all the excess battery. What you do is unplug it first, pull the power, just like that. Then what you want to do is flip it over and you want to pull the battery. Uh, let's see, the battery is right here. This is where the memory is. So we're going to pull the battery. Okay, now th this is the battery here. Now just take note, I mean, every laptop is going to have something, you know, the size of the battery is going to be different. Like this compact here, I mean, the, the battery is here, this long piece right here. See, obviously this is a longer uh, component or longer battery than this one. But anyways, so as soon as you uh, pull the power, take the battery out, what you want to do is flip the laptop back into position, open it up, and what you do is you hold down the power button. Hold down the power button for like 60 seconds. And after you hold it down for 60 seconds, go ahead and pop the battery back in, put the power, put the battery back in, pop the, um, the power cord back in, and then fire it up. And hopefully that resolves the issue. Uh, sometimes, I mean, for myself, uh, there was one time I had to do it three times. I mean, third time's a charm, and it, and it works. So I tried three times. And if that doesn't work, you can go to the next step, which is uh, check the RAM, the uh, memory stick. Okay, so it's possible that your RAM stick could be bad. So what you do is you find where your bad or your memory is located on the laptop. And there we go. We can see the RAM is here. Now you can see this. There's only one RAM stick in here. So what you would do is well, this is what I, this is what I do. I would pull it out first. And then I would pop it in the other side because it's possible that one side of your uh, RAM slot could be corrupt, corrupted for some reason. I, I had that issue one time where one side was corrupted and I just switched the RAM stick and it fired right up. So, But if that doesn't work, what you do is get another, of course you have to get another piece of RAM stick. Uh, if you have another extra laptop laying around or whatever, uh, pop that sucker in and power it up and hopefully that fixes it. And if that doesn't, we're going to go to our third step. Now the third step would be to um, so the third step would be to actually hook it up to an additional monitor. So let me show you. Okay, so the third step you would want to do is hook up your um, if you have your uh, external monitor. I'm going to use this one here. First thing you do is you look on your laptop and you look for this um, VGA port, and here's the uh, the VGA male end uh, from my uh, monitor to the monitor. What I'm going to do is plug this in here. Now, the, the, of course, uh, 
this computer here is fixed, but I mean, just pretend this monitor, uh, nothing shows in a display, it's pure black. So what you want to do is plug this into here. So there you go, it's plugged in. Now, of course, again, pretend the screen is, uh, the display is black. What you want to do is hit the toggle key. What you want to do is, for this computer here, I mean, each one's different. This one is, um, I hold down the FN key and I push the F4 key. You can see the F4 key, it's like a, like a little monitor. So I'm gonna hold down the FN and push the F4 key. And there you go. And now you can jump in there, you can transfer your files, or you can just continue to use your laptop with an external monitor. Now the thing is, different laptops, the, the toggle key, the FN, some are different. Like this one here is FN plus the F4. Uh, let's see, this computer here is uh, uh, FN with the uh, F5 key. You can see it looks like dual monitors on that one. But the F4 key, it's kind of uh, like a little monitor within a, a, a bigger one. And let me see this Fujitsu here. Uh, okay, this would be uh, FN and the F10 key, the little square. So each one's different. And, uh, you know, hopefully one of those three steps pretty much solves your issue. Uh, if, if that doesn't solve your issue, then most likely, I mean, it could be your video card, could be uh, your, your RAM slot, could be the motherboard. If that's the case, uh, typically, you know, it, it's, you're better off buying a laptop. Just pull out the hard drive and transfer your important files and whatnot. So anyways, I hope that helps you guys out. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Even if it doesn't, it was worth a try. Thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.